Let, let's quickly look at the road to the final. I, I think we should start with the final Yoba. Uh, we've said so much about the final Yoba. So, um, road to the final, the final Yoba. Let's look at you, You've talked about some of the matches, the one against Crown, uh, Worry Wolves. So, we'll, we'll take a quick look at the road to um, the final, all the way from round of 64, uh, down, down. Um, we'll see how they progress. And, you know, uh, take us through the talking point. First one was... Um, uh, the one against um, that was the state final against Chisco. Uh, they won two 0 uh, They defeated Boy United in the round of 64 by a lone goal. Also defeated Lobby Stars same margin in the round of 32. Uh, defeated Casina United uh, in the round of 16. That slim uh, one 0 margin again. Um, eh, what it was too um, uh, went the way of the others. Slim one 0 um, victory. You could see how they progressed. No? Yes. They didn't consider a single goal. They didn't consider no, From the round of 64 till and Crown, the semi finals. Yeah. Crown was the last victim. Yeah, exactly. 2 1. A lot of noise yeah, was made about. Uh, semi -final class, uh, but we yeah. stick with what the organizers exactly, of the competition you know, are saying you know, as far as we are concerned. They, they, that that match, uh, no, I saw two appeals at the end of the day. O and D mm -hmm. gave their verdict only two days ago. The appeals committee eventually you know, struck out uh, the appeal of uh, the Crown FC. But, uh, here Take us through some of the talking points. Let, let's start from the state finals, the stories. Of course, uh, for the state finals, uh, you expect them to win against uh, you know, the side Chisco United there. But of course, uh, moving further, they you know, had a more difficult ties. Lobby Stars uh, was uh, their victim okay. in the round of uh, 60, 32. They eventually conquered them one goal to nothing. Moving over to the you know, round of uh, 16, they, they also progressed against uh, Casena you know, United. Uh, and of course, uh, the, the main talking point okay. started in the round of okay. the quarter finals. You know yeah. Let's, let's uh, pause. Uh, a little get some, some perspective. Uh, let's talk to the technical director of FC Ifan Yuba talking about uh, Michiko Dobrev. Um, uh, I'm told he's on the line. Um, good evening and welcome. Okay. Um, all right, we'll, we'll work on that and, and you know, we'll, we'll make sure uh, we get a perspective. He's the technical director of FC Ufaimba, uh, Mishko uh, Dobrev, um, very f vast, um, knows a lot about Nigerian uh, football, he's been a few places uh, around and um, I think it is, his impact has been felt at the club. His impact has been felt, uh, but uh, you're going to wonder who are you going to even give the credit. Uh, there's yeah. a certain Rafael Everton in the mm -hmm, side as well. Mm -hmm. He sits on the benches time they play you no know, games. Uh, so, and he's the one that is uh, in charge of uh, the team. Uh, um, we are told that uh, Mr. Dobrev is the technical director. You okay. know how he works these days. He's <laughs> a technical director <laughs> and then <laughs> a clear definition of rules. <laughs> okay, um, Mr. Dobrev is back uh, on the line. Uh, hello, Mr. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, on the show. Let's quickly get your thoughts uh, on the final and um, your expectation from your team um, when they play against Nassau United. Yes, yes. My, my team ready for this match is the concentration for final. Training very, very good uh, 10 days only for team for final. Now this uh, this uh, match very important for Ifan I I think uh, this uh, this uh, final for, for Ifan Yuba Victory. Okay, uh, let's talk about your opponents, um, uh, Nasra United. How, how much do you know um, about them? And um, let's just talk about how much yeah. you know about your opponents. Yes, I have respect for Nasra. Nasra is a good team, good balance for every line, for contra attack, for organization game. Is a good organization from my management, is the chairman. But anyway, my team for every match go for victory. Okay. Um, Let's talk about your expectation um, fr from your players. It's not going to be easy, um, that final. Uh, there's, there's a lot. Are you even thinking that the game, uh, like my colleague has said here, um, that the game might probably stretch beyond 90 minutes? Uh, okay. Uh, I think we just um, um, lost um, contact with um, um, Dobrev there. Uh, but 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 he said he said quite a few uh, things that, that that we could work on. He says his team has um, respect for Nasra United, and um, they're ready. They're ready. That's victory, just the message. Victory is paramount. Uh, that's the objective of each of the two teams that will be playing in that final. And he echoed your words. You know, that this is big for Ifan Yoruba. This is what you know, we want. The calf Confederation of Sport is at stake, and it's, if they win, it will be their first major trophy in the history, in the young history of the club, as it were. They came into existence last year when they bought the slot of uh, a. And a lot has changed. Uh, 
a whole lot has changed. You know, it's all about money. You meet, uh, you meet football is played you know, with money these days, and it's big business. Uh, the man understands that, and that's why he has invested so much in the club. He seems to be yielding benefit right now, and the icing on the cake might just be the cup on Sunday for Ifanyoba. All right, let, let's go back to, to the road to the final. Uh, we, we were in the middle of that when we took that call. So we, we go back to that and, and, and just look at the journey and probably, uh, like you were trying to do, look at um, how they've got to the final and what might likely happen uh, when they play. Like you've been able to point out to us that they've, been, they've not been conceding goals. And that is key. If you have not considered any goal, you are still in the game. Obviously. All you um, need to do is score. That's what they did in the course. Even if it was a you know, slim 1-0 win to the, uh, the, the, the quarterfinals. And of course, when they eventually got to the semi-finals, that was when they considered their first goal in the tournament. And that was against Crown FC. We know how it ended controversially. But before then, you go back to the quarterfinals against Wari uh, That was another controversial you know, game. Uh, you, um, we saw that one on TV from mm -hmm. channels here over there in Port Accord, And you know, it was bizarre how some of the Wari players were chasing the referee on the mm -hmm. day. It disallowed their That's what they area we need a legitimate goal and all that. Players you know, exactly, losing their cool. Exactly. You know, you so know, it's not good, good, not, not good publicity for... Irrespective of what the match exactly, official does. Exactly. You don't take the loss into you your hands. But then, um, this game is a game of passion. When you don't get decisions you think you're not supposed to get, you tend to uh, the, react. The high point angrily. for me was when um, they, they, they were able to take out um, uh, Aqua... Um, Okay, uh, sorry, uh, this is Nasra. I was I was already, this is Nasra's road uh, to the final. We'll get to this shortly. Uh, we're still on uh, uh, Ifa Yuba. We're just talking about Ifa Yuba. We will switch over to Nasra uh, at so, some point um, later. The icon for me when I was talking about Ifa Yuba was the strong teams um, that they came across and they were still able. To hold their own, especially lobby stars. Lobby are Teams that are more experienced yes, in this lobby competition. Lobby stars are decent campaigners when it comes to the Federation Cup. Uh, they, they've won the competition before, beating Sharks. Uh, that was uh, in the early 2000s, they beat Sharks to win that one. They've lost in the finals to Eimba, you know, in 2005 in Portaco. I was there for that one. They also lost to Hartland uh, there. No, no, yeah, yeah, to Hartland, when Hartland won back to back here in Lagos as well. They lost to Hartland. So they decent uh, campaigner when it comes to the, the Confederation Cup. If I ever was able to take them out there, uh, also beat Wari will say, even though I want to say that one was in a controversial manner. Crown FC might be playing the Nigerian National League, but they are one of the best sides yes. when it comes to the history of the Federation Cup. Alongside Prime FC of uh, No Shobo, they do well. The Grand FC of last season, from from reports and from what we gather, um, a lot of people said good things about them. How good they were on the ball, how uh, you know, and that they are a very good side. And for Ifan about to, to have been able to beat them. exactly, you know, even though it ended in the controversial manner, but of course uh, they've uh, done quite well at getting this far. If you take out a team like Warriors, who only earlier this season played in the CAF Champions League, lost out to America Sudan, you took, take out the Lobby Stars. Uh, I mean, Lobby Stars have won the season campaigners. Before. You know, we are talking about an Ifan Yuba side that is less than two years old. You know, in, uh, you know, in, in football in, in this country, so they, they have done quite well to get this far. Yes, uh, there is always that question mark about you know, those two games against Warriors and uh, Crown FC. But then I think uh, they beat some of the best teams in the land to get you know, to the finals. All right, so um, talking tactics now, um, if, if probably you get a call from that side and say, okay, you know our opponents very well, what do you think we should do? What would you say? A few words. Mm, for, for, it depends on who calls now. <laughs> it's not at all United. No, that's what I'm saying. Let's, we're talking about Ifan Yoba. Yes. I mean, I'm just, you know, trying to, you know, get your opinion. on. Mm, the... Ifan Yoba is an attack-minded side. You know, they have a whole lot of uh, players you know, with... Uh, so you no, still advise uh, them to maintain, yeah, that. Ma maintain their you know, uh, pattern of play. It is the pattern that has taken them, them this far in this competition. So there is no need to change the winning p in tactics or perhaps a winning team as it were. So for them, keep doing what you're doing. They go all out. They don't have to knock the ball around very well. They keep possession and try to... You know, um, what should they chances. avoid from their opponents? Uh, for for if I buy, and uh, They have to avoid... you know silly mistakes uh, because especially from the you know, uh, defenders uh, they have um, national United have got Abdurrahman Bashiri very fleet footed uh, that man can harm any you know, uh, slack like defense any, on any, the good any day. Uh, so you, you have to put your eye on uh, Bashir Abdurrahman he's very fleet footed and of course uh, he, he has he knows the road to the goal he has he scored um, 13 league goals uh, in the MPFL last season and I mean you, you, they also have a society Binoba that's another key man in the middle of the park for you know, Nassau United uh, he's the midfielder 
But two seasons ago, he was almost So while they are doing their attacking, award. they have to be wary of yeah, those, exactly. those two you know, guys. Keep it tight at the back. You can exactly. single-handedly decide the outcome of that encounter. And if you look at uh, their key performance for last season, you, may, you can't look beyond these two players, Bashir Abdurrahman and Esus um, um, Benoba. They have some other quality players in the side, the likes of uh, Ifa Inweke, you know, a whole lot of uh, quality players. But the key men are these two I mentioned, uh, Esus Benoba and of course uh, Abashir Abdurrahman, the former Yimba man. Right, what about the chances of um, this um, stretching? Going to penalties, uh, 2013 we also uh, Imba and um, Wari Wolves. Mm. I went to uh, uh, so <laughs> the lot I, of I, penalties. Yeah, I still remember I that see, one. They yeah. they attached the government promised uh, the Wari Wolves players a trip to the abroad. Eh? I remember <laughs> Zubike <laughs> losing the penalty on, on that day. <laughs> you know, but of course, uh, when it gets to penalty, it's now um, anybody's game. It's eh? a lottery. Yeah, a lottery. It's, it's a question of uh, you know, taking you taking your chances and all that. Eh? But I think. Um, that game might just stretch into penalties. And looking at it, uh, two teams who look like they have equal strength in this competition, uh, Nasara United beat Eyimba. Uh, you mean, with all due respect, Eyimba are arguably the, 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 the biggest set team in the country these days. You know, they are defending league champions before Rangers uh, no, won the title. Mm -hmm. And the campaign in the CAF Champions League, getting to the group stages, they don't want to look at their pedigree. So for Nasara United to even take them out in that competition, nobody expected them to do that. And that might just be the you know, confidence they need right. going to the finals. <laughs>